uh, the idea of uh, we have this one the diagram shows a rod which starts rotating with angular angular acceleration alpha about vertical axis starts rotating means it will accelerate from rest about vertical axis passing through one of its end a this is a vertical axis hmm? in horizontal plane friction exists between the rod and the bead this is the bead hmm? this green color is the bead with the quotient of with quotient of friction mu at the angular velocity of rod increase the bead starts sliding over the rod say after time t not now is asking normal force acting on the bead at time t friction force acting on a bead at time t and, and i want the time at which the slipping will occur one more one more thing i'm missing if the bead if the bead starts sliding at t equal to t not find t not Okay, this initial diagram. I I think you have to draw the diagram. It's a question based on diagram. Uh, hardly we have anything equations. Okay, I'll bring the diagram. Now carefully make observation. At any instant of time, after some time t, it will have angular velocity omega. What are the forces that are acting? The weight of the bead here. The gravity is present. there will be a normal contact between the bead and the rod then 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 a pseudo force m omega square r or centrifugal force better you call this is a rough then uh, this is for t less than t not we are discussing then the friction will be here Let, let's talk about the let's let's look at the rod uh, and this is the bead no uh, sorry there's a bead cross sectional view side view you have to see otherwise not possible so the weight of the, the, the there's a rod no the weight of the bead will act downward and and because of that there'll be normal contact then then what we notice is like it is rotating it will have tangential because of linear because of angular velocity it should also have linear velocity so the linear velocity is what i'm showing here hmm. what are the what makes the see who is rotating the rod is rotating no what makes the bead to rotate what makes the bead to rotate who is who is uh, rotating rod is rotating Friction. but what makes the bead to rotate think once and answer no what makes the bead to rotate who will push the bead the rod no so there there'll be normal contact between whom between the bead and the rod so there'll be normal contact will be acting and uh, on the rod so what is that n2 that n2 is the normal contact exerted by the rod on the bead because of that it will have tangent there's a tangential force when a tangential force acts on a body there must be a tangential acceleration so what is this n2 the rod will push the bead n2 
In turn, the bead will push on the rod. I am not bothered on the rod. Let, let's bother. Now no, look at this one. A tangential force acting. If a tangential force acts, there must be tangential acceleration. Yes, th this idea. Uh, I, I don't think so. This is something very big. You can just hold a rod, try to swing the rod. Or let somebody try to rotate the rod. You try to hold it. No, you feel that the rod is pushing you. That is what this end to. You you can quite experience. I need not to talk much about these things. Okay, now now let's get into the mathematics here. Uh, we we don't have students who draw such diagrams. I'm telling this one. We don't have books. We don't have students. <laughs> Nobody wants to like a, who, who is who is pushing the bead. The rod is pushing, so there should there should be normal contact. Why do this? Why do this n one? The weight will try to pull down. <coughs> Therefore, the normal contact. Now, that n one we have to show on the rod also. I'm no, this much is what we have. So first, vertical equilibrium of bead. Then. We know a tangential equal to r alpha. What is a tangential? Who will provide the tangential acceleration? The normal contact, m into a t. So therefore, this n into m r alpha. What is the total normal contact? N one square plus n two square. So this is a total normal contact. What is n one? M g whole square. What is n two? M R alpha whole square. So therefore, this N is equal to G square plus R alpha whole square. Okay, th this you keep it here. And now, the bead. What is the state of bead? Bead will rotate along with the rod. That is what no, no, no slipping. So what what is the condition? Is right bead rotates along with the rod. When it rotates along with the rod, means what is the friction acting? Should be static. Hmm? Friction is static. Static friction. Uh, what will happen to static friction? It is independent of normal contact. We know. Go back to basic definition. Friction is static means it is independent of normal contact. So therefore, uh, what we can write here is like F will balance that static friction centrifugal force. In the ground frame, the friction provides required centripetal force. Static friction provides required centripetal force. If you are standing somewhere here, the centrifugal force is balanced by the static friction. What is omega? What is omega? Omega should be equal to alpha t. M R alpha will write it. M R. Now with the time, what should happen to static friction? This is for. With the time, what should happen? Static friction, as, as t increases, static friction also increases. What is the maximum permitted? What is the maximum permitted? Maximum permitted is mu n because we have mu, no? He has given mu. He has defined mu. Okay, so the friction between the ring and the, the between the bead and the rod will keep on vary, will increase. Then at one instant. When that becomes equal to limiting, it starts slipping. So he's asking, normal force acting on the bead at time t. Okay, fine. This is now we'll we'll concentrate on the the instant of time at which slipping occurs. Mm, what shall I? Before that, friction force acting on the bead at t greater than t naught. What is this? What is the t naught? First of all, if the bead starts sliding at t equal to t naught, find t naught. T less than T naught is what we discussed. Okay, I'll put it. Normal contact force between bead and rod. 
okay there's a one part of the problem okay part one got over normal force acting on bead at time t naught friction force acting on bead at time t greater than t naught is asking oh sorry 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 less than t naught okay this also got over the two unknowns i, I just made correction make okay th this is our answer there's one answer okay and now if the bead starts sliding at t equal to t naught find t naught bead starts sliding so what friction should act limiting friction should act here how to get the time at which it will slide i think we should take help yeah. of this condition huh? you are asking sir Uh, are you looking at this question? Find the if the bead starts sliding yes, at sir. t naught, find t naught. The t naught you have to find out, no? Okay, let me uh, proceed like this. The same diagram. Uh, we'll go for one more page. and the next part of the problem what is the condition for t greater than t not definitely in the condition given it will slide the friction acting will be limiting the time is what needed the time at which it occurs sorry t equal to t not at which the slipping occurs at that moment uh, it is about to slip or motion impending what you can call Okay, let's again uh, the the same set of equations n equal to m g square r alpha o square. We have a lot of the equations, no? F L equal to mu n okay on the beat. What is F L? We have brought from m omega omega. You can write alpha t naught all square into r. Okay, mu m m get cancelled. So g square r square alpha square equal to alpha square t naught square r. So t naught is needed. Will be. mu r alpha again inside g square r square alpha square alpha square the time at which it starts so once it starts slipping then then what is the problem arises what is the condition will arise uh once it starts slipping then the, uh, the then what what is the problem is like it will have also velocity in this direction it will also have acceleration then you can't write this equation then what is the equation you should write m omega square r minus fl equal to some radial acceleration no longer it will be in circular path then person on the ground what he say the friction is not sufficient to provide required simple force that's why it is living circular path this what is ask only is ask at that time no what is this this rod this rod is like in a circular in shape that's what we are discussing this is nobody has asked what is the shape of this rod the rod is having a circular cross section this is very important as uh, sir shape matters no, nobody asked sir is it a rod i i shown it okay here i shown it deliberately i shown it is it shape matters i am really asking one of the best question here okay make yes, observation sir. of this make observation is so is it shape matters means i am just asking okay let, let it be like this huh? 
rectangular cross section rod rod let it be rectangular cross section then then what is your course of the problem any changes to the discussion you make it or will it be same change yeah think and answer no don't tell immediately uh, please uh, is there is there any history history uh, like uh, some very immediate you'll answer immediately people are responding uh. think think once i'm asking some best question how come within fraction you say same no huh mm, come on do, do, right and lies without drawing diagram nothing huh? mg there's a normal contact n1 on the rod it is, as it is rotating now there'll be normal contact n2 and on the rod n2 okay this will be a tangential okay till here i think same no almost but the friction uh, like at the rod which is there no the friction at this surface depends only on this n1 the friction at this surface depends only on n2 two frictions you have to show it i'll i'll give cross sectional diagram don't respond for my queries immediately please because i'll be asking something very essential one until unless you don't analyze think it's not possible huh? make habit of thinking why all uh, i'm asking all these questions is so that you should think there's a main purpose here no the entire the coaching what we are trying to do make is like a student should analyze and think this is the friction one will act here the friction at <coughs> one of the side suppose if this is the n2 so the friction here will be in this direction and this will be a tangential the weight of the bead will act vertically down i am unable to show it and here normal contact the mg is i am unable to show it okay if the rod is rectangular cross section then on at individual surface you have to discuss the friction individually since the rod is rectangular cross section circular cross section okay we are able to go for the total normal contact here f1 is mu n1 f2 is mu n2 uh, earlier what we wrote f l equal to mu n no separately you have to discuss the problem here now f1 equal to mu n1 f2 equal to mu m2 then the pseudo force is balanced by f1 plus f2 the pseudo force here f1 plus f2 equal to m omega square r limiting frictions these are huh? so cross section rectangular cross section circular cross section are very important any doubt you can clarify here all these are learning problems uh, learning so that students should analyze think it's learning not for testing i feel huh? because you need uh, you have to draw diagrams here but but such questions will come even in mains for you in the weekend i don't know the teacher what he thinks about the exam hmm? 